in cyclic course you all of you know that we need to uh, obtain the polynomial from the message bits or the code bits code word bits so uh, here we are going to see how to obtain the polynomial if the bits are given so uh, for example if they have given you uh, this one as a message word or the code word then how to obtain the polynomial here if you don't know uh, how many uh, bits are there then you can consider uh, these uh, mm, consider it as a four bits here because one uh, because uh, if you count it it is a four bits if it is a four bit then first order is of x3 so you can uh, write here x3 then x square then x then x raised to 0 so x3 corresponds to this bit x square for this bit x for this bit and x raised to 0 for this bit then wherever one is there you have to write those uh, powers so x3 0 is uh, don't consider 0 then plus x raised to 0 that is x3 plus 1 because anything raised to 0 is 1 so uh, these are the coefficients of these powers so x3 coefficient is 1 that's why that is appearing in your polynomial x square coefficient is 0 then x coefficient is 0 and x raised to 0's coefficient is 1 let us take another example so 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 now how many bits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so if 8 bits are there so this one corresponds to x raised to 7 then this corresponds to x raised to 6 x raised to 5 you are not going to consider x raised to 4 you are not going to consider because it is 0 then x raised to 3 x square you are not going to consider x you will consider 0 x raised to 0 you will not consider so this is the polynomial so it's very easy but uh, many times we get confused whether we have to start with uh, this power um, uh, last one as x raised to 7 or first one but in cyclic course you have to start with this and uh, count number of bits if it is it then highest power is x raised to 7 and all these are coefficients of the those powers so 0 coefficient is there then don't take that uh, that uh, power of x so this is important because if you uh, are not able to um, form the message polynomial then you will not solve the cyclic code problem so that's why this video is uh, made so that you will get a uh, clear understanding about how to form the message polynomial. Thank you.